Hey Wargamers, welcome back again to the channel Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron and I'm back with another quick Hyper Pulse uplink. Uh, some really exciting news from our friend Derek over at Aries Games and Minis. Now, this is something I've been talking to him about for, I want to say three months, maybe longer. I know he's been working on this project uh, for a very long time, maybe over a year at this point. Uh, so, Derek is an avid fan of Clanstone Lion. Derek felt there was not enough unique mech representation for this clan, so he embarked on a quest to make some cool mechs. And guys, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty blown away by these designs. So, what he's done is he's uh, partnered with uh, a company. Basically, he worked on the sculpts, he got them cast, uh, they're resin, they're really awesome. Um, and he went ahead and, of course, built all of the spec sheets for them. And we're going to talk about all that tonight. I'm going to show you the minis. We're going to talk about the mechs. I'm going to show you the specs. Uh, and of course, I also uh, have uh, one of his uh, older Ares mechs. So if you're familiar with those, he had a whole series of, of the Ares Clan Omni mech. I got one of those painted up as well in uh, stone lion colors. So very cool. So stick around. We're going to check that out. It's coming right at you. So this first mech here is called the Tocho, and the variant we're going to talk about is the Tocho Prime. So this is a 30-ton clan mech, and this thing is absolutely blazing fast. Uh, so it has both mask and a supercharger. It packs ferro, fibrous armor, endosteel chassis, and a double XL fusion engine. So it's got uh, 10 double heat sinks. It could dissipate a total of 20. On the armor side, um, it's it's decent. Um, you know, basically, I think 90, 105 pips, I think it has in total. Um, it has targeting computer, a light active probe, a clan ER large, and ER medium. So those two medium and large lasers combined with the targeting computer can definitely dish out some damage. You can take some aim shots with this thing if you need to. Uh, and the fact that it is moving so fast, it can actually move 28 hexes if it engages both systems. Uh, that's just blazing fast. Now, on the Alpha Strike side, what that converts into is a mech that can actually move in the 1 to 1 scale 17 inches. If you're playing 2 to 1, it's a 34 inch movement. It has a TMM of 4, uh, it's short, medium, and long, or all 2. If you're playing with extreme range rolls, Obviously, that would be a one. Um, its base cost at a skill level of four is 40 points, so it's not cheap. Um, it has the energy special ability. It's got the light probe, recon, and of course, omni mech abilities as well. Four pips of armor, one structure. So overall, uh, this mech very cool. Now the model itself also very cool. You know, the cockpit sort of harkens to that Black Hawk style. Um, you know, the arms, uh, very cool, um, you know, with the, uh, with sort of the, the, the gauntlet or bracer look on the arm. It's got those two pods um, just off the side, so other configurations have IATMs and other things like that. So overall, really well-designed model. Uh, also love the, the legs. I mean, the detail, you can see the actuators, you know, so the pistons, everything there is, uh, is detailed out, so spare no, spare no expense here on this model. Very well done. This next mech here is the Ta'o, uh, and my favorite one out of them is the D variant. Uh, just a really neat mech. So this one also features a supercharger and a double XL fusion engine, although this one has ferro lamellar armor, uh, so very tough. Uh, it's got a substantial amount of armor, in my opinion, for its size and uh, especially with the ferro lamellar. So uh, very fast, very tough. And in addition to that, this particular variant packing an Angel ECM suite, it has a targeting computer as well, and it's got the decapitator, the ER PPC, and an, an ER medium laser as well to back that up. So I mean, you can move this thing around the field very easily. Again, you can use that targeting computer for aimed shots. 
you know, or just be extremely reliable in hitting while moving at top speed. This thing can run with the supercharger engaged um, 16 hexes if you're playing classic Battletech. Um, you know, if you're just playing on a, uh, you know, an open map 16 inches, however you prefer. Uh, and then on the Alpha Strike side, so this translates into um, basically a, a mech that can deal uh, 3 damage at uh, short range, 3 damage at medium range, 2 damage at long range, and then if you're playing with extreme, um, it does 1 damage. Its base cost at uh, skill 4 is 55, so that, that's definitely not cheap. Uh, it has, uh, what, six pips of armor and two structure. Again, that XXL engine really crippling the structure, but at the end of the day, you know, if it's got the armor to back it up, it really doesn't matter. It's just less opportunities for you to take critical hits. Um, it will go into withdrawal faster, but again, you know, with that crit resistant ability and everything else, you know, this thing's definitely staying on the field until it's basically one pip from death. Um, so again, got that Angel ECM, very useful, both in Classic and in Alpha Strike. So you can do lots of really neat things tactically with this mech. Um, also looking at a TMM of 4 with a movement of 10 courtesy of that supercharger. So really, really solid um, design on this one. Now from a, from a design perspective in terms of the model, uh, I really love this one. I, it, it's, uh, it's one of my favorites. It, I think maybe it reminds me of like a panther or a wolfhound or if a panther and a wolfhound had a child. Uh, <laughs> this is what it would look like. But it, you know, it definitely looks like Battletech to me. Um, you know, and I love the cockpit design. I love the visor design. Um, lots of great detail on this mech. Love the, you know, the big gun barrel. You know, in this particular variant, it's an ERPPC. I think in others, it's a hyper assault um, Gauss rifle, which is a prevalent theme, as you'll see as we get into some of the bigger mechs. Um, but just overall, phenomenal, uh, phenomenal build here. And these are multi-part kits, guys. So this was poseable entirely, um, you know, and I kind of put it in a bit of a running stance, but, you know, both the, both the legs, the hips, you know, the upper torso, the arms, the head, all separate pieces. So, you know, it gives you a lot of flexibility, you know, how you put these mechs together. All right, so the next mech up here is the Griffin. Moving into the heavy weight class, this is a 65 ton Clan Omni mech. This thing is, uh, this thing's a beast. So it walks five, runs eight. So you know, this is like typical speed for your clan max, but uh, in, in typical stone uh, lion fashion, it is equipped with a supercharger. So it can, it can sprint up to 10 hexes or 10 inches in bursts. In terms of armament, it's got a little ER small laser in the head, but those are backed up by massive hyper assault Gauss rifles. So two HAG 20s, one in the left arm, one in the right arm. Um, and those things, uh, yeah, as you know, can be beastly. Uh, they're just absolute crit finders. Um, standard Clan XL Fusion engine, so much more survivable in that regard. And in terms of the ammunition, it's got 30 rounds feeding each uh, Hyper Assault Gauss rifle. Uh, heat sinks, it's got you know 20, but again, those Gauss rifles uh, barely building up anything. So, so 20 total dissipation, 10 double heat sinks, just to be clear. Um, and then on the Alpha Strike side, so the Griffin here. It's actually a really, I think, a very good bang for buck mech. In fact, one of the best uh, in terms of Alpha Strike, I think, from, from the ones that I looked at. So it's 43 points, which is very reasonable. Uh, it has eight pips of armor, which is massive. That's like, you know, on, on, on par with like an 80 ton mech with, you know, ferrofibers or standard armor. Um, it has four pips of internal structure, which again, courtesy of the XL engine, it drops a little bit, but that's not terrible for this era. Uh, and then in terms of damage, it's at, you know, 4 three, 3 so 4 short, 3 medium and long, and then 2 points at extreme. It moves 6 inches, or again, if you're playing the 2 to 1, you could double that, it moves 12. It's got a TMM of 2, size is 3, obviously, for a heavy mech, and it has the flak ability, case, omni, and then crit resistant. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a little bit more durable there, and again, the bang for the buck in terms of cost, very good. Now, on to the model. Uh, just really well done, I think. I, I love the, you know, the consistency, you know, in, from mech to mech, right? You can see the design cues from some of the smaller mechs make their way into this mech. Um, I love the head on this mech. It's just a very, very cool design. Um, you know, and it's got, again, the, the dual guns, it's got the, the chest plates, the sort of the, the shoulder livery on there. Um, you know, if you were a better painter than me, you could probably paint a little, 
or even get the, um, the Fighting Piranha, right? Get the little logos and, and put them on there. Very cool. Um, so lots of space to do, you know, neat things on this mech. You know, overall the model, as you can see, even with a handful of colors that I did, you know, there's just so much detail. When you wash these things, they really come to life. Um, so really cool model overall. And, you know, the joints at the knees, the joints at the hips, there's just so much detail in these models. So again, you know, if you're looking for something fresh to paint, uh, something new that you haven't painted before, I really highly recommend these. It would be very satisfying to, uh, to get these on the paint bench and then even more satisfying to finish them up. All right, so on to the next mech. All right, so this bad boy is called the Hater. Uh, but this is the Prime variant. This is uh, a 75 ton uh, Clan Heavy Omni Mech. This thing has so much freaking armor, uh, it's crazy. And it's, you know, again, it's fast. 5'8 with another supercharger on there, so it can, can sprint up to 10 inches or 10 hexes in bursts. Uh, this is also packing a Hyper Assault Gauss 20 in the right torso, and when the model sort of swings around there, you'll be able to see that, that massive cannon just sort of coming out, emerging from, from that side torso there. Uh, and then in each arm, it's got an ER large pulse laser. So both extended range and pulse. Uh, so this is some pretty advanced tech here. And those ER pulse uh, can take advantage of the targeting computer that is located in the left torso, the Hyper Assault Gauss obviously taking advantage of it as well. So this thing punching out to 24 or 23 hexes at long range, even further if you're going to extreme 32 and 30 inches respectively. Um, so this thing can really bite at, at a distance and uh, with that targeting computer, it's absolutely lethal. Um, battle value on this one, expensive, 2913. I mean, all of these mechs, again, they're packing so much technology. Um, they are, you know, they're, they're, they're not cheap, but uh, still, you know, a lot of bang for the buck in this one. This does have the double XL fusion engine, um, so a side torso will knock it out of commission. Um, on the heat sink side, it's got 34 dissipation, uh, so 17 double heat sinks equipped on this chassis. Um, those ER large pulse build up 13 a pop, so you could comfortably fire this plus the hag and run, you still have some, some to spare. So you're in very good shape in terms of heat with this mech. Now in terms of Alpha Strike, this thing, again, very solid, um, doing you know more damage than your standard awesome here. And it's, its cost is, I believe, 46 points, um, and it's doing four points of damage across the board. Uh, at extreme range, it's doing one less, so it does three at extreme range. Move six, or if you're playing two to one, moves 12. Um, TMM of two, right? So again, this is similar to the Griffin in terms of uh, movement capabilities. And as far as damage goes, it's doing slightly more damage than that Griffin. Um, armor, it is also at uh, at eight pips like the Griffin. Uh, structure is one less though, courtesy of that that XXL engine. It's got flak, it's got case. Now let's talk about the model here. Um, so like the other ones, again, you can see as we go from light to assault, right? Um, we're, we're in sort of the the fourth, of, the four out of five. So. You can see the design cues um, and you can see the consistency from one mech to the next. The one thing I really like about this one is the head. Um, it, you know, sort of reminds me of like Thundercats. Uh, that's like when I first saw it, that's what it reminded me of, you know, with the, the sort of ears on the head. Um, the guns uh, on the arms, super cool. I, I love, I, this was this was the one that I actually decided to do the, uh, the titanium effect on the gun barrels because it just looked like that's what should be there. Um, you know, the, the actual arm, like the forearms, are very similar to what you saw on the Griffin. You know, so you can see some consistency from, again, one design to the next, which I actually really like and I appreciate that. Um, you know, the torso has a ton of detail, things you could probably gem and little circuits you could paint and things like that. Um, you know, you know me, I'm a, paint, I'm a table ready type of painter, so, you know, I just, <laughs> just sort of did what I needed to make them pop, but even as is. I think it looks pretty darn great. You know, even like the little sort of stripe down the head, all of these things are all details, again, that make it just so much easier for any painter to pull out the detail in the mech and really bring it to life. Oh man, check this guy out. So this is this is the big boy, 85 tons. This is called the Pantaleon. This is just nasty. I love the torso cannons in this thing. 
uh, those are both Hyper Assault Gauss 30. So it's got twin HAG 30s, uh, which is just insane. So let's talk about just some base stats. So it moves four, walks four, right, runs six. It's got a supercharger, surprise, surprise. Uh, and that uh, can sprint up to eight hexes or eight inches. Um, I think I mentioned this 85 tons. And then for heat sinks, it's got 13 double heat sinks. So total dissipation um, there of 26. Uh, this thing has a medium pulse laser mounted in the head. Um, and then like I talked about those twin hyper assault Gauss rifles. I mean, 30 points of damage her hag that's just nuts and granted yeah it's spreading but guess what there's only like what eight locations nine lo eight locations i think anyway i mean with 30 hits you're, you're guaranteed to hit the same location multiple times um, out of both of those cannons so you're just going to shred things and those things shoot out to 24 freaking inches like it's nuts and then in addition to that it's backed up by an improved heavy large laser this is in the left arm um you, know, you see that massive cannon there's no hand in that arm uh, and that is a, you know, that's a 16 point direct damage shot at 15 inches. I mean, yeah, it builds up 18 points of heat, but you're decapitating things with this. Um, just again, brutal. And BV's 3195, I gotta be honest, that seems like a bargain buy. Uh, oh, and on top of that, it's got like something like 250 or more uh, pips of armor. And it, I think maybe it was like 280. Uh, and it's got ferro lamellar armor, so super tough, right? Clan mech, case everywhere, uh, just your standard Clan XL fusion engine. So if you're going to kill this thing, you basically have to go through the center torso or knock off both of its side torsos. When we look at this thing in Alpha Strike, when we run this through the converter, uh, it is equally terrifying. It's, it's also crazy expensive. Uh, looks like 60 points at skill level four. If you want to run like your, uh, you know, your galaxy commander or whatever, or <laughs> you know, it's skill zero in this thing. It's like 108 points, I think. Uh, so it moves five or 10 if you're playing two to one. Um, if you're playing in the one inch, you know, uh, one to one conversion, uh, it moves five. And that again, courtesy of that supercharger, which then gives it a TMM bump to two, which is incredible for a mech of this size. When we look at the damage profile, it's six, five, four, three. So six at short, five at medium, four at long, three at extreme. Like, holy smokes, it does so much damage and it has an overheat of one. Uh, now I'm looking at the armor here and it looks like it has a full 10 pips and it's got crit resistance, it's got five structure, um, other abilities, it's got flak, a four at short, medium and long. But just overall, I mean, this thing is a stone cold killer. It, it costs a fortune. You know, but even if you run this thing at skill three, it's 72 points. I mean, with that kind of firepower, I mean, you could just, you could just eat things alive. But, uh, let's talk about the model. I actually put this thing up against the new Executioner and the new Dire Wolf, and it's scaled very well um, to those mechs. So again, you know, being an 85 ton mech, you would expect it to be a little bit smaller than those, um, those mechs, and it's, it's just about the same size, I think, as the Executioner. Of course, this one is so uh, girthy, for lack of a better word. Uh, but I love the, you know, the sort of the hip plates or the upper thigh plates there on the outside that it has. Um, love the detail in the gauntlets, right? It's got, it's not just a solid piece of, of resin, right? It's got the little detail where it has the recesses in there. The cannon on the, the, uh, the left arm has just a ton of detail. Um, the chest cannons are awesome, and those, by the way, are separate pieces. We talked about this before. They're all multi-part pieces, or multi-part kits, rather. The, um, the, the knee guards, uh, the head, obviously, a separate piece as well. So just tons of, uh, tons of flexibility in how you want to design this mech. Uh, overall, just, a, again, phenomenal design. Gave me tons of opportunities to very easily add detail, right? You can see I had the yellow striping on the shoulders and the panels on the back. And then adjacent to the shoulders, there's like those three yellow lines. The head, it's got, you know, it's got that sort of uh, spike coming out of the top there. So overall, just again, awesome design. Um, the, the cockpits were very easy to paint. There's a, uh, you know, very, very good definition in the cockpits, you know, they're, they're very well recessed. So it made it very easy to paint them. Um, and just overall, again, just tons of little details on all of these mechs. Um, these are definitely next level. These things are very cool. So again, highly recommend you check these out. 
uh, and grab yourself a set for your stone lion, uh, you know, star that you're building there. So just wanted to throw this one out there for sake of comparison, and I certainly will, will add this into my stone lion force, uh, which I will probably expand over time using this star and, and this Aries as sort of the, the core foundation of it. Um, had this one actually for a while. Um, very cool mech. You know, I love, you know, the cannons on the top and, and the gun arms. And, and, you know, honestly, prior to the Kickstarter, this was on par with, you know, some of the better, honestly, some of the better Ironwood Metals models. Um, you know, it doesn't have um, all of the detail that you might see maybe, you know, in the shoulders or in the arms or, you know, on the legs or things like that. And of course, the pose is a little static, but it's still a great mech. It's still very cool. And I, and I guess the point that I wanted to make was when you look at this, you know, and you're like, hey, you know, this is a pretty cool mech, but then you compare it to the new, uh, the, the five new mechs that Derek just released here, these new Stone Lion mechs that are that are coming out and exclusive at Ares Games and Minis, you can see that the difference, right? I mean, the new ones are next level. They are, they are right on par, in my opinion, in terms of the level of detail with the Kickstarter mechs. Thanks to Ares Games and Minis, Derek, thanks for sending these over. Uh, these were awesome. These were fun to paint. Again, so much detail, it was very easy to paint them. I didn't have to think about a whole lot of stuff. I mean, really, it was just, I take a couple of risks, I'm gonna paint a couple things yellow, looks great, I'm gonna paint a few more things yellow, great, I'm gonna wash them, I'm gonna highlight them, right? I mean, it, it just, it was very easy to do. They came out phenomenally. Um, you know, the, the detail and the weapons, the, you know, the how close they are to, you know, what's on the mech, very cool. Um, I, I think I mentioned the scaling earlier. I mean, just you can see the difference in the gradient from you know 35, 45, 65, 75, you know, all the way up to that 85 ton mech. And then in the back there, you've got that big old Ares uh, Omni mech chilling in the back there. Um, so all of these mechs are just really phenomenal. So thanks again to Ares Games and Minis uh, for sending these over. Um, so guys, again, Ares Games and Minis, they're exclusive over there. They're custom designed. You will not find them anywhere else. So highly recommend you get yourself a star. Not only does it help out Derek, who's a great guy and runs a great store and gives us all awesome discounts on Battletech stuff, but also they're just awesome to have. I mean, and Stone Lion is sort of one of those underrepresented factions in my opinion. So very cool to have some dedicated, uh, dedicated mechs uh, for that force. But. Stick around, we're gonna head over to the wrap up here. Don't go away. All right, guys, so what do you think? I, they're pretty awesome. So much, so much punch in those mechs. Uh, Derek definitely spared no expense uh, in the componentry of these designs, some really cool stuff. And I just showed you one variant of each mech, right? So each of these has a prime, an A, a B, a C, a D. Uh, so lots of options out there for you. Uh, and again, you know, uh, I was blown away by the detail. Uh, I painted these alongside the Kickstarter mechs uh, that I've been working on, and honestly, you know, the, the depth of, you know, the recesses and the, the way they took to the washes, very similar. So if you're looking to add some unique mechs to your collection, I would, I would definitely encourage you guys to check these out and get yourself a star. Um, you know, very cool. Especially, I think they go real nice with the Lance packs we put together because they are sort of in that, you know, clan stone line doesn't show up until I think it's like 3085 or beyond. So they're, they're very active in sort of those later eras where, you know, our, uh, our mech packs are, uh, are set up. So really cool. Again, head on over to Ares Games and Minis. Check these guys out. And of course, if you need any other mechs, uh, supplies to paint, perhaps your new Kickstarter uh, pile of plastics, you can, uh, you can head on over to Ares Games and Minis, get all of your Battletech stuff, painting stuff, whatever you need there. So guys, special thanks to Derek for sending these mechs over uh, and really awesome job. So again, check them out. Guys, don't forget to subscribe here. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night and stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming.